Hi, so a quick set of possible ways to approach exercise E. This is about um, this is about creating contrasting maps, illustrating contrasting areas of the northeast with different rankings of LSOAs by IMD or IMD subdomains. I'll show you just a couple of these, um, but that should be enough that you can complete the whole exercise with all of the IMD subdomains if you wish. So first off, Power BI. As before, we need to get data. So the first thing we want is the Excel spreadsheets. We will get this one, Northeast Domains of Deprivation. I'll choose the sheet, load it up. So this gives us sheet one, as before. And we also want the geographic data, so we'll get that. This is a CSV file from the same folder, LSOA coordinates. Okay, as before, we want to transform the data to merge the spreadsheets together uh, so that we bring the location data into the data spreadsheet. Uh, we can do that with merge queries. And we want to merge sheet one first with LSOA to select the LSOA code in each case and the left the default left outer join is the one we want click OK when we look on here we should have these longitude and latitude we don't need to use the original column name as a prefix and we click OK now we can close and apply those queries and this should bring the data into the data. This should bring the geographic data into the data IMD data spreadsheet. And we can check we should have a longitude and a latitude, and we do. Okay, so now we can start plotting maps. Remember, we use the map visual. Okay, so we drag and drop latitude and longitude into the correct parts of the visual field uh, columns and we'll get all of the LSOAs plotted here. If we want these colored by local authority district, we can put that on the name and we get different colors for different districts. We can get rid of the legend, gives a bit more space here. Um, and that's a single map showing all of these things. So now we want to filter this by area of IMD rank. So we'll get a slicer uh, we'll add IMD rank onto the slicer. Slide up to the top. You can see the areas where the least deprived parts of the Northeast are. Down at the bottom, you'll see the most deprived areas. Okay, let's leave it at everything for now. Now, we said we wanted to contrast two maps, so we will put them side by side by copying and pasting them. Uh, but if we use the slider, we'll see that it affects both of them equally. And we don't want that. What we want is this one slider per map. So we can slide out the most and the least deprived areas in the northeast separately. So if we click on the slider and then we go to Format, Edit Interactions. And you will see that it says filtering on this one. And if we move the slider down a little bit, you'll see, it's also, you'll see it's also filtering on this one. So we'll switch off the filtering on the right map. Um, and now when we filter here, we should only get one map filtered. Put that back. We'll get another slicer. And again, we will add rank onto that. And again, we need to go to Format, Edit Interactions, and this time, we want to not interact with this one, so we'll switch off that. It's already not interacting by default with the other slicer, and switch off Edit Interactions. So, now we can go and have the most affluent, the least deprived areas in one map, and the least affluent, most deprived areas in the other. There's a, a little challenge here that the maps auto zoom to the data. 
so they'll change their scope slightly. And probably for comparisons, you don't want that. If you click on the map and you go to map controls, you can switch off auto zoom. And the same if you click on the other one, switch off auto zoom. So now we can separately select the most deprived and least deprived areas in the Northeast. And you'll see they're kind of similar, but they fit to some degree around each other. So it gives you uh, an idea of different, uh, different regions. Okay. That's hopefully uh, an answer to that question for you.